Welcome everybody, this is Jumbo. And LJ. And we're gonna play Crash Bandicoot 2, also known as... Butthurt Bandicoot. Let the fun begin. Let the butthurt begin. So, Jumbo. Hmm. What are some of your favorite childhood memories of playing these uh, classic PSN games? Well, I, I remember just playing them all the time. Like I, I, I used to always have to use my dad's TV for this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And then one day, this neighbor who moved out gave me my own TV, and I would just like wreck all day, <laughs> all day with Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot was like the only game I had for PlayStation other than Spyro and Final Fantasy, mm -hmm. uh, Final Fantasy Seven. And man, and for those of our uh, followers, this is Neo and Engine. R2 antagonist of this Crash Bandicoot game? Yeah, as you can see here, um, Engine actually has a uh, missile sticking out of his head from a workplace accident. You know, didn't go over his comp on that one either. He must have one hell of a headache. Oh, yeah. And Neo's got some big chompers. <laughs> and the classic scene where her battery dies, but it makes me wonder, like, I mean, why are you using the, a laptop in the middle of the forest, and where are you going to charge it? Like, there's no outlets in the forest. She's using spirit nature to charge her battery. Channel, channel, channel the druid spirits. <laughs> I, I also noticed uh, most of these uh, animal characters are based off of... Uh, Australian marsupials. Yeah, a lot of this game is actually based off like Australian stuff. Yeah, um, like they got the witch doctor masks, you got all these and tiki the, stuff of the ruins and stuff like that, which is pretty original. I mean, like mm -hmm. no one else does like. Ancient so this Australia is like this that. is uh, Sony's answer to Donkey Kong. And yeah, th this was Mario. Sony's way um, when Sony split off from Nintendo because of the um, the. Uh, the disk drive, Nintendo 64 disk drive, this is basically their middle finger the Nintendo's platform mm -hmm. games. Well, it's just kind of cool for for those of us, you know, uh, who only had one console when we were little, little babbies. You know, this is this is our... What the fuck is a babby? Uh, it's a, a babby. A, a baby. Oh. My mispronunciation. Why can't, why can't you just say baby? <laughs> My mispronunciation. Oh, jeez, man. <laughs> That's like that's that's the that's the one way that like every dick in the United history has greeted. Well, well. Neo's got a, a Saturday morning cartoon voice. <laughs> well, I mean that's what it was. Mm -hmm. You know, every, every, most people back then who played video games were kids. Mm -hmm. And this nowadays, is what we're like everybody plays. Video yeah, this games. is what we're used to. Get the shinies, Crash. Can you understand me? Excellent. Now at this point. You, I remember I was just messing around where you go into the first level and then I decided to go back into the boardroom because I wanted to save or, or something and at that point uh, Neo yells at you for not yeah he gets all pissed off yeah so there's this trolling moment where if you go back to the warp room without getting a crystal like three times he yells at you for not getting the crystal now in this run of level if you don't break any boxes you get the blue gems well i'm gonna do that right now on this playthrough hopefully i won't break any boxes because i've had to do this like twice already <laughs> yeah see that was something i noticed like we were little kids playing this we were wondering how do we get that blue gem and then yeah like we couldn't figure it out because back then like i didn't have the internet i had and to there was the no, shit out uh, my help exactly that or you could charge your fo parents phone bill the ass by calling the Sony helpline. Or if there was a, a strategy guide book, which costs like what? 10, 20 bucks? Yeah, it costs like 20 bucks. That's like two months worth of allowance yeah. right there. So I guess the only way for us uh, poor kids to find these stuff, we just have to mess around and discover it. This is the part that gave me trouble, because I was a kid. I was just like, how am I supposed to get around this thing? And then I realized oh, the yeah. bouncy box, so you just jump on it. Oh, crap! Oh, oh man. <laughs> almost was... hit that thing. No. I'm now, isn't that you started out with the Aku Aku mask? Yeah, you, I got that in the tutorial. And these are Tasmanian devils? Or balls or something. They look like, yeah. As a kid, I think I remember jumping over those holes, but like I tried to do it this time and there wasn't enough distance or something. Mm -hmm. Maybe I need to do a slide jump. Oh, there was that one platform. Oh! There we go. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, I remember that trick. Alright, I'm going to try that again. Oh, 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 oh yeah. That, that didn't go so good. You have to hug it. Yeah, you really gotta like hug that wall right there. H hug Pretend it's your girlfriend on your pillow. We know you don't have a real girlfriend. And we get Yay! the bling! We get the bling. Cashing in. 
Victory squats. Got, gotta do the victory squats, just make sure not to crap yourself. Beat me up, Scotty. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I mean, ne Neo. Who wants to fight Kirk or Crash Bandicoot? Well, I mean, Kirk has guns, so that would probably be like, mm -hmm. you know, Kirk all the way. Just he was so hype. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, the crash dance! I always love the crash dance. Like that was like his, like his ultimate trademark was to just give everyone else the middle finger because he won. Who? Huh? <laughs> I like his face. Well, we're almost out of time here, so uh, this has been Jumbo and LJ. And uh, thanks for watching, guys, on our first video of the. Yeah. Butt Hurt Bandicoot series if as we play Crash Bandicoot 2. If you haven't felt butt hurt yet, you will later. <laughs> we will. Oh, this is going to be painful. Throughout the show, we're going to track our deaths. Whoever has the least amount of deaths is uh, not going to die. Hey, Coco. Okay. Love the Coco.